Hey everybody, welcome to Root. As part of the Steam Tabletops Game Festival, uh, we're here to get into some woodland warfare that's going to pit the team uh, at Direwolf Digital, uh, responsible for the digital adaptation of the hit board game uh, against its creators with, uh, with our friends here from Leader Games, Patrick and Marshall. So uh, I'm Matt Hudson, I'm going to be playing the Cats today, uh, seeking to expand their control of the woodland by ruthlessly crushing beneath their little clawed paws any who dare to oppose them. Uh, I don't want to make it too much of a thing, but clearly the other factions here don't stand a chance. Yuri, uh, what are you playing? So I'm playing the Vagabond today, and I haven't picked my character yet, but I think I'm going to go with the Arbiter, uh, just to change up my play style a little bit as Vagabond. I, I like to do quests and aid and, and get a bunch of items, but the Arbiter's going to force me to do something a little different and, and be more aggressive. Chose violence. <laughs> Always choose violence. Uh, what about you, Patrick? I am not here to crush anybody. I am here to bring you the voice of the Great Basilisk. I'm going to be playing the Lizard Cult. The Lizard Cult. So you're going to be uh, turning warriors into acolytes, performing fell rituals to spread your corruption throughout the woodland. Great. Great. I'm no, sure that'll be awesome no, for all of us. My divine light. Oh, <laughs> my oh. inspiration. Divine inspiration. Even better. Even better. Uh, and so, rounding us out, Marshall? Uh, yeah, I'll be playing the uh, Riverfolk Company, the wonderful otters. Um, and we'll be, you know, marketing our open hand of shared cards to our wonderful friends of the forest here. We're, we're really not here for violence. We're here for, uh, you know, commerce. That's what we're trying to do. So, uh, indeed, we will uh, put up some trade posts and just make some deals and... Um, in doing so, uh, we'll run Matt's timer down. Uh, to replace <laughs> oh no, oh no, I need to put it in a keep. Uh, okay, here we go. There we are. And it's like that, it's underway. We have built a keep uh, with a, and we're gonna put a sawmill over here. And we're gonna put a workshop over here. We're expanding aggressively. I like that the game is timing you now for everything. The heart of, yeah, yeah, now the, now the pressure's really on. <laughs> Not just the keep. Okay. Now the Vagabond. Right, what kind of I Vagabond am. are we in store for? Was that all a lie? Was Yuri deceiving us? No. Was that the very first play? Yeah. Right. To right. not be the actual Arbiter. No, that's an Arbiter indeed. And oh, the I Lizard Cult. To... I'm going to choose my initial suit. Just banishes somebody right from the get-go. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And... I've got some... Lo choose a... Let's continue. Well then, let's choose a place to be. Sorry oh, if you hear thunder. That's, uh, that's the exciting. thunder from outside yeah. of our window. Yeah. Uh, all right. You got good light. Normally, this uh, office, if it's sunny, I'm completely washed out. So you got you got good luck there. Good get some light. get some nice atmosphere. Get some mm -hmm. some ruddiness. All right, let's hang out up here with the cats. Uh, let's sort of straddle the Arbiter here, you know? Um, I, you know, as much as that corner's neat down there, that's a lot of lizards. So I think we're going to hang out right here with the cats as well. I'm so unused to playing with that advanced setup that I forgot that I just started out opposite of the keep. I was like, why didn't I get to choose? <laughs> <laughs> right, so for uh, hand cards, it'll cost folks two. That's a good place to start, I think. Riverboats, three, and uh, mercenaries. We're going to say three as well. I don't really, I'm not incentivizing the purchase of those currently. Mm. No, I don't want to resign. I just want to close the hand. There we go. All right. Uh, if, if, if you, you know, there's some pretty good stuff here. Yeah, I'm going to buy a card from you. Items. As the Vagabond, I like to see, uh, all these potential items being crafted soon. Yeah, I mean, the investments being there for gold is great, isn't it? And then you've got the Fox Folk Steel and a crossbow. It's pretty good. Yeah. Hold on, I'm getting some prompts. Mm -mm. I guess you'd say we have a weapons and investment store running currently. <laughs> I like that the it says the prompt says steal a card from the Vagabond or from the River Folk. Oh, it's because it's such a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I am. Choose a ritual. I do not want to 
on the rituals yet, I think. Yeah, that's all good. That's good. Oh, I skipped the daytime. Whoopsie. All right, that's all right. Well, you don't handy, need a daytime. The handicapping has begun. Do we want to <laughs> choose any? Do we want to buy any river folk services? Mm. In general, you do. I mean, mm. always. Both the uh, Blizzard Pearl and the Marquis here have a ton of warriors in their supply they can use to buy these services. So these are factions that uh, have a lot of buying power. It's a little pricier for me as the Vagabond to, to get those cards. Indeed. And uh, bird cards are great for uh, the cats there. Yeah. Extra but action. he does not take the bird card. Interesting. Not today. Not today. Uh, we're going to get to work, I think. Wow, I cannot believe I bombed my first round. This is exciting. It's actually the pro strat it's to skip your first daylight. Uh, no, I should at least put guys on the board. Mm -hmm. Trying to diversify here a little bit. Couple workshops. I see yeah. what you're doing there. You off, uh, getting off to a fast start. You took a card that you can craft if uh, you have those that you took from me. I feel this. So I think really we might want if we just end the game now. Um, <laughs> I get you know, I'm I, well. I'm ten percent of the way to victory. So <laughs> I get on it. Oh my! So I'll take I'm the not sure I've had all three players buy the uh, otter cards on the first turn ever. This That's is very exciting. interesting. This is exciting. So I did to be nice there and not not go for attacking everyone right away here. I like their little heads staring up at me. <laughs> and it would appear that folks... this is a... What's up, Patrick? I said the first time you folks all showed me the cats running down the, the path, like five cats running down the path, and they weren't like in lockstep with each other, but kind of... A little bit, of, a little bit of random pace for each one. That was, I was pretty excited. Scrambling from clearing to keep clearing. Mm -hmm. I think he squealed with joy. In fact, <laughs> that's true. I do squeal. Okay, so, as the otters, I move all my payments to my funds box, uh, which is what you know most folks probably wouldn't have seen there. But I have a ton of them. I've got uh, nine funds, which is a lot for the first turn. So let's do some things, huh? I'm going to start the meta game now. Just forgot who dropped their first turn. <laughs> um, and let's look for some owners and some trade posts. I think we'll put one right here in the middle with our good friends, the cats. Get a couple points for those trade posts. Uh, now the cats can trade more than once. We can yeah. start this nice business commerce relationship. Um, in addition to that... I think we'll commit a fund to draw a card, considering we don't have many. Um, I think we'll commit another fund to draw a card, because we don't have... You guys took all the cards. We've got to restock our store here, you know? Um, I think we'll also spend a fund to uh, place a warrior in a clearing. You don't need warriors. Yeah, we're just going to shore up our store here a little bit, that's all. Just want, you know, we need some protection for our trade post. Um, I think we're going to likely draw one more card here. This is just too many, uh, too many things to leave undone. I think we'll also make another trading post with our good friends, the lizards. You're just such good friends down there in the corner that we wanted to come visit. Guys They're so cute. <laughs> um, and at that, since we have two bird cards in the hand to sell, I think we're going to continue to the evening. Uh, we'll we'll draw one more card. Why not? 
Uh, we'll say that these hand cards do indeed still cost two. River boats now cost two. Uh, mercenaries currently cost two. They are quite discounted. And that's my turn. Okay, let's see if I can do it this time. <laughs> Some nice ones. And if you notice, I gave you back your lizards. I did not keep your cultists hostage. Uh, how much are cards? Two? Two. Alright, I'll buy, I'll buy that tax collector from you. Uh, I will now... We specialize in tax collectors. Decline. Okay, so now I'm... Oh, I... I think that's... I'm confused. It skipped. Oh, of course. We're you not playing with advanced setup, so I don't have Indeed. any. I, I don't have any. Um, I don't have any acolytes yet. That's why. I was, so it, I was. I was continuing through the morning, but in actuality, I was continuing through the day. So that was my. That was what, what I did wrong. All right, we got this. Okay, so I'm going to look at the board and be sad because there's not a lot of red sites left. I got this. All right, I will. Recruit here. Uh, I will build uh, here. Come on. There we go. So what I'm doing is I am recruiting warriors uh, from, and then I'm putting down a garden in this red clearing down here. Of course, wherever the lizards are, they rule. If they have a building there, they don't, regardless of how many people are there. I'm gonna put down another garden. Okay, and then Two I gardens a... there, my goodness. Yeah, wow. I had a good first turn coming and then I dropped it. So I just want that, there's gonna be an asterisk on this one. All right. <laughs> and then I'm going to score points with red. Uh, so that gives me two points. So I can sacrifice a card from my hand to gain points based on how many gardens of each color of that color I have in play. Uh, and I am going to do one more recruit with my last card. And oh boy, let's do. Let's put him here. There you go. Mm. All right. Uh, in the evening, uh, no cards to craft, so I will finish my turn. I mean, I'd craft if I could, but indeed, choosing cards to discard. All right, and that's my turn. Nice uh, undo feature. That's good. Hmm. Uh, cats, I'll, I'll I'll just point out uh, that there's some very nice yeah, I'm bird cards at, in my hand. I'm looking at those bird cards. Ah, you love to see it. Commerce makes me happy. <laughs> oh my, he's yeah. a big spender, folks. We've got a, a VIP here at the store today. So I'm I'm starting to get a little scared of the Riverboat Company, starting with all these funds. Is this a time is, uh, for me to mention that the uh, otter is on my business card, or should I have done that before? <laughs> you did mention it before, actually. It might have been before we were live. Mm, that's uh, true. Let's, so let's, let's see. Let's build. This is quite the clearing going on up here. Oh, you're concerned about me, but look at those eight-point cats right there. That is some... It is some early game movement. They're my best customers, so I really can't deal with them. Just letting you both know. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I mean, it's only fair. So we're gonna we're gonna push inland a little bit here, and uh, gonna hire any hawks. I don't think we are right now. And that will do it as we're, let's see. So the Arbiter Vagabond, what is your special ability? So mine is that 
I have an ability called Protector, and so this is an ability where people kind of enlist my help in battle, um, but only when they're the defender. So I, I'm kind of this guardian of the of the uh, peaceful. And um, when I'm enlisted, I, I get a point and I add my undamaged swords to their world hits or, or max world hits. Um, so I noticed. I, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go right ahead. I just learned you can click on the little dudes and they do a little dance for you. Oh yeah. Sorry, that was probably not relevant to the game. I mean, or it could be the most relevant thing. Clicking on everybody now, so it's somewhat relevant. Yeah. You can also click on the recruiter, and he jumps up out of the recruiter station. This is adorable. Uh, I love oh, yeah. it. The woodland comes to life. Wow, That's the workshop good. bangs on the anvil. I have not seen those animations. That's wonderful. I'm guessing yeah. the sawmill. Oh, and the sawmill cuts wood. It does. That's I mean, so fun. So, uh, a gesture of friendship here for these coins. Uh, but, Matt, I hate to say it, but you uh, you seem to have left your keep exposed here, and I'm, I'm not sure I can resist. Oh, you're not going to do that. Taking a okay. crack at it. You're not going to resist. I love this. I mean, I'm sorry to hear, as the proprietor of your goods, um, but also, we like to see buildings fall. You'd never... I mean, it is kind of cool. <clears throat> um... They'll have a chance to keep it, though, because I'm going to send somebody back there. Um, so for I, I can't resist all the points here, or or I could just guarantee that I take it out. So hmm, it's kind of for, a, for those of you watching who who aren't the most familiar with Root, one of the things uh, that's really interesting about the asymmetrical factions, everybody's trying to do their own thing. Everybody has their own strategies and goals, and one of the ways you see that play out over the course of the game is in the victory point trackers which uh, not all victory points are created equally for the different factions. Like there, some, uh, some, of them, uh, some of them are very easy to get for certain factions at the beginning of the game. Some of them accelerate much later. Uh, so there's a, a lot of times this, this flux and this tension that's really fun over the course of the game where you have to like time where you're gonna take your shots uh, in order to, to kind of crest and hit 30 right at the right point. Uh, because uh, everybody's kind of moving at a different pace over the course of the game. So even though like you're on the second or third turn, it might look like, oh, the lizards only have two points and the river folk have four points and the cats have eight points. Like that's not at all reflective of like what the end state of the game is going to be. That's just coming out of the gate. Like people start accelerating and, and reach their peak speeds at different rates. This is very oh, or some of you forget your first turn. And then... Or, right. Don't, or Don't have a good lizard game. This is actually just part of Patrick's prop bet that he made, is can I skip my entire first turn and still win the game? That was the... So I've, uh, I've just crafted a command warren for my otters. Uh, we've decided to sort of militarize our services a little bit. Uh, this is never an option. <laughs> at the start of daylight, uh, we may initiate battles from, for the rest of the game going forward. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, which is, it's nice. We, well, we just have the option to fight. You know, that's, we're all about options here at the Riverfolk Company. <laughs> um, we're going to draw some cards as well using our own warriors. Oh my, folks, uh, it might come to your attention that we've just stocked the Favor of the Foxes card. Uh, might be gonna, I better get my hands on, on that, considering <laughs> where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, somebody else might want that. Yeah, I don't know. That's All right, and we're going to draw one more card using a cat. Uh, yes, using a cat. And it's a bird card. Go figure that. The cat catches a bird. Uh, and I'd like to establish one more trade post with my good friends, the cats. It's going to sort of shore up the, the Midwest here, the central locations in the map. We're going to recruit one more person using the last cat. Oh, and it's almost too tempting. My good lizard friends, uh, you know, I believe this southern coast also needs to just have lots of commerce. So let's put one more trade post down there. Um, I'm pretty happy with my turn. I think we're going to go ahead and skip forward. Time to get me? Um, hand cards are going to cost three for this turn. Mm. Riverboat costs two, and mercenaries cost three. This is an expensive... Times are hard. This is a shipping crisis. I don't know if you've heard. 
And that's okay. my turn. Well, me having the favorite card of the foxes is way too important. Because... I hope it's worth three lizards. Important. Because... It is. Because if I don't have it, you can burn down all my gardens, and that's not good. Okay, the outcast suit is orange. May I remind you all that the cats have eight points. Talk a little talk a little bit about dominance that you just that you just discarded. Like how does how often do you play for dominance as opposed to trying to win on points? I have opinions about this, but go ahead, Marshall. So it's rare that you play for dominance unless you are really preparing for it in, in my general experience. Um, however, the ways that I've seen dominance played when you are preparing for it are, are almost impossible to counter. So, you know, if you have the cats and you take both corners and you've been planning to do that and holding that dominance card and you play it at the right time, um, you very much, you know, uh, or you very often will have a, a secured position. Uh, one thing about the dominance cards is they're super telegraphed. So you're saying, mm -hmm. I, I am going to win this game on my next turn. And if people stop you from that on your next turn, it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to position back into a dominance you know, uh, win. So they are a, a very much shoot the moon, but a player who is prepared to do so can can position themselves well. I think trying to go find dominance cards while positioning is a strategy I'm not good enough to employ, to be honest. What, one of the things that I think is really interesting about it is, uh, you know, go, sort of going back to the jokes of like the piece was never an option joke. It's it's sort of when somebody plays the dom plays a dominance card, it's the moment where all of like the pretense and jockeying and you know good natured, oh we're collaborating as we compete, all that goes out the window, right? As soon as somebody as soon as somebody puts down the dominance card, it's like oh okay now it's three against one, <laughs> and like it's how well is everybody prepared for that moment can be a really interesting transition. Uh, similarly, I don't believe I'm ever successful, but I've attempted to, so it, to me, it's a, it's a thing I avoid. Uh, memorable dominance uh, from Nick, one of the developers and graphic designers here at the studio, from maybe my first month or two of working at the uh, company, um, back in our old office, uh, we were playing a game with the Underworld factions, and Nick moved, you know, I think it was something like six to seven cats into each corner and none of us was noticing what was happening and then flipped the dominance card and it was just this moment of oh oh no there's nothing we can do we collectively all tried to go hit him but it wasn't enough sure. um, and that's that's the you know that's memorable to me because it was played oh. so well yeah. oh shoot i'm gonna undo with the asymmetrical nature of the factions it, it certainly seems that some factions have a much easier time with dominance than others and uh we leverage that when creating some of the challenges for the game, you know, the, the scenarios that we have with unique rules, where you start with the, you know, you have to do it with as the marquee, and then as the eerie, and then the final most challenging one is you have to do a dominance victory as the alliance. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to finish that challenge for a bit, to be honest. I have the first, <laughs> the first two knocked out, I think, in the first games. The Woodland one is, it, I don't, it is incredibly challenging. I'm sure there, uh, it, I'm sure you guys have stats on how many people have finished that one, and I, I would guess it's less than, you know, X percent of people. That's such a difficult um, All right, uh... conceit. Yeah, you have, to, you have to be very careful that you don't overextend in officers so that you don't actually have enough warriors to um, defend the areas. It's thematic, though, right? I mean, the, the, the scrappy insurrectionist rebellion shouldn't achieve dominance, right? Like, it's sort totally of like, not. Right? You've become the thing you sought out to destroy at that point. And sorry, my turn's taking so long here. That's all right. You've got uh, a timer now. So the game yeah. is. We're game covered for funny. you with this, this amazing banter. So. It's all good then. Yeah. So uh, I spent my turn just placing troops in red clearings. I put it on another guard and scored some points. Mm -mm. The thing I undid was I accidentally used the favor of the foxes for scoring, which made a discard. So, um, but I, I, that's why I undid a bit. I got a bit. All right. Uh, we're going to craft some woodland runners. Hmm. He's Here. got boots on now. Careful. Yeah. I mean, it might be, it might be of interest to, uh, to those among you who, who care about such things. Um, hmm. We're going to Let's see. <laughs> even if you click on the trade post, they animate. I love it. This is this is wonderful. Skulls too. The gardens. There's 
We, we might might need to get in some trade post action. Yeah, look at that. They're they're jaunty. They're hanging out your shingle, ready for business. So to piggyback on the uh, the dominant strategy, um, in the earlier uh, version, the Woodland Alliance, it was kind of their thing to do, and it was kind of system empty to see this like a horrifying number of Woodland Alliance troops. And, when clearing and yeah, if, I think if you pulled out dominance now as a win alliance, you'd be maybe the best player in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll say I I did say I'd send a signed poster to anybody that has documented proof they've done a Corvid uh, dominance victory. Yeah, Corvid dominance I I would imagine is is be pretty tough. nigh impossible, or unless yeah, you'd have to play. Yeah, an I game. think someone on the Woodland Warriors did tell me they pulled it off, or they were very close, but they missed it. They missed blood, so. I'll, did I'll you tell them? Well, sorry, close doesn't get you a poster. Yeah, it, well, and it's not documented, so yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take your word for it. I have given that poster out years ago. Cats are venturing back into their homeland. I wonder what's happening here. I mean. We were, we were we were punished for our expeditionary efforts. You're also uh, quite strong right now. I'm as a as the uh, arbiter of commerce here. I uh, I feel like you might need to <laughs> arbiter of commerce. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Now watch me shut the stream down. So what are you guys working on in the studio? I'm kidding. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that we're working on is uh, bringing Root to Nintendo Switch, okay. which uh, will be, uh, we'll have a, a release date in the next week or so. We'll be talking about when it'll be coming out um, in time for the holidays. So that'll be a fun, uh, a fun development. Wonderful. Uh, in addition to, yeah, just generally generally keeping busy. I have, a, I have a Switch, and my interest you to know. I also have a Nintendo Switch. I, so there's two customers taking, right are there. Are we counting? <laughs> Look at that. Two sold already. Here is part of the Steam Digital Tabletop Festival. We are, would, we're, we're selling Switch it. games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't tell Valve. <laughs> I would venture to guess that, that maybe three or four more other people also have Switches. I think this is going to work out. There's dozens of us. Dozens. Um, I've been playing uh, Metroid Prime on my Switch recently, and uh, really difficult. Very, very hard game. Not not the right game to play before bed. It just frustrates you. It's fun, but frustrating. Uh, it uh, would be a nice change of pace to be yeah. you know, frustrated only at the end of the game. I went, I went, I went deep for a while on the uh, the, the the Switch. Nintendo Store emulated games, whatever that thing is, where you can play the old uh, NES and SNES games uh, with like the pause and rewind functions that make them actually achievable, uh, which is how I completed uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which was pretty exciting for me. And then you got to the end and it was oh, like, whoa, play the game goodness, again. Whoa, what is, yeah, what is yeah. happening here? What is yeah. happening here? Vagabond. <laughs> We're just, you were all chatting, and I was just waiting for that moment. What? It we're just trying to be friendly that. here. What, what happened? What, what did the... My goodness. These are just little shopkeepers, and now they're dead? I don't understand. Man. Poor poor shopkeeps. They're with the great basilisk now. <laughs> and no. then he leaves. And then yeah. the arbiter leaves. He comes over. He causes <laughs> chaos, yeah. and then he walks came, away. He came back to, to, to okay. revel in the ashes of my keep. Well, he's at 12 points now. I believe the Arbiter has just become what is called a problem. The old Arbiter. My goodness. Unfortunately, do not have a satchel. So I'm going to have to lose some items here. Oh, my. Oh, poor you. He has three swords and a crossbow. Who let who let the Arbiter do that? He doesn't have that many hands. This is shenanigans. Is a tail I've, holding the third sword? Is this I've always liked that about the design, that two teapots makes you 40% more effective. <laughs> that, that's actually my experience. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I assume there's some sort of double boiling situation going on where it's one teapot pouring into the other, which pours into the next. Yeah. I mean, how else would you do it? That's, that's a science. <laughs> right. 
you left me you've left me very little choice there arbiter <laughs> I wish I I wish I could uh start of daylight battle you and not have to pay for it that'd be even better but I don't see but you have that command horn indeed but he ran away he smart. ran away uh, he ran away uh, after he hit me I see. I I believe that paying attention to your opponent's capabilities might technically be cheating, Yuri. Uh, I'm not sure if we need to get a ruling on that. But that seems pretty borderline there. Like, you knew he could do this, and then you left so he couldn't do it? That's questionable. That's questionable. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think you saved the cats, too, because I was getting ready to pound pretty hard on that uh, cat situation over there. But we have just decided to uh, be, continue our friendship and skip that battle. I'm assuming that's a metaphor of some kind. I don't understand really what that means, that you would attempt to hurt the cat. I, I don't... Why, why would you, right? Maybe there's like a language barrier thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> that with, doesn't make sense. With no lizard. keep, I think your biggest threat might be the lizard cult over here. Mm -hmm. I have four And I'm going to just... I'm just going to drop a nice little trade post with the lizards. I'm just going to hang out and have fun. All right. Um, I even trade a lot of my boys back to me. Gave them back to you. There you go. Gave them. Yeah, I don't know if gave is what I'd say. But I, 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 they were... You have them again. That is true. Um, I'm going to go ahead and craft this sappers. You know, just in case I want to get rid of something. That someone else has. Or in, 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 somebody else's hits, I should say. So if somebody attacks me, what Sappers does is it said I can discard to deal an extra hit. Uh, so if they're attacking me, I can sort of strike back harder. Uh, I will also um, draw some cards because we need the uh, we need the commerce. You know, it's very important to have commerce. Uh, I think we're gonna recruit. left just doing some counting math here real fast as opposed to non-counting math as a matter of fact my goodness arbiter that was a really smart place to move to that was a very 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 good play it's gonna cost me do two to do what i want and i'm still gonna do it oh geez yeah i know you didn't think i would but <clears throat> at this point I can't let you have all of those, and I don't think either of my two uh, my two opponents slash friends of the forest are going to uh, submit themselves to falling on that sword at the current point count. So, here we come. Oh my goodness, I really hope you didn't move there because you have an ambush card too. That would be <laughs> incredibly frustrating. Uh, was that giggle because you do or don't have one? Okay, here it is. No ambush. Oh, and a nasty That's a hit. spicy meatball. That's the kind of hit you're looking for when you send three otters up into battle. If I were you, I'd destroy a sword, sword, and, uh, you know, sword. Crossbow. <laughs> Sword crossbow boot will work. It's ticking me down, but I can't get out of the, uh, the animation screen there. There we go. All right. We are going to commit one last fun to draw a card. Oh, my goodness. It's the favor of the mice. I don't care about that. I Somebody does. Uh, we're going to go to a hand card of three, riverboats of one, and mercenaries of two. Feel free to get fighty. Why would we do that? I thought this was a peaceful little uh, undertaking we were doing here. Who wants to fight? <laughs> the Vagabond and I, apparently. I mean, my avatar shows me with a sword in my hand, so I assume... Always, yeah, I've always felt the Vagabond was slightly anti-capitalist, so I get it, you know. That's a... uh, I want to look at the board before I decide if I'm going to buy mercenaries. Um, where are you? 
just don't have the troop concentration to justify it, so... We'll it's really only to hit the, the Vagabond again if, yeah, if anybody no. wanted to really bury him. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Of course, you can move four of your uh, lizards up the river for uh, for one. Uh, except I can't move, because I have had no acolytes this entire game. Because I've not gotten any blue cards, which I could be buying, but I'm pretty happy with my hand, so... Mm -mm. We're sorry to hear that. Yep. Are sorry to hear you that. all should be sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm going to make my crit here again. I like that there's a little broken heart symbol on the Vagabond for me now. I assume that's just for me. Um, broken <laughs> hearts. Yep. Crit here again. We've all had friends like that. <laughs> Patrick's building in a, another red uh, clearing, almost as though he has the favor of the foxes. I know, no fear. No fear. No fear at all. Now I'm going to spend this stand and deliver to score points. And card's back. And I could, could actually detonate the favor at this point if I wanted to score three big ones. I would not be a fan of that. Uh, oh, and I'll be more than three big ones because there's a trading post. That's a couple of sawmills or a sawmill and a recruiter. Yeah, I was counting those. Oh, there's two. It's pretty bad. Oh, it's brutal. It's uh, a lot of points. Yeah, it helped me get back in the game, um, but it also make me a target. I'm gonna do it. You also don't get the nice trading discount with me any longer. What trading? I guess you do actually. <laughs> what trading discount? Uh, you can uh, trade just... multiple things, not discount. Sorry, you can it's, trade more than one. So item. rare you get to use it. Oh. So the the favor of the foxes card that Patrick has that he crafted earlier in the game allows him to destroy all enemy pieces in these red fox clearings, where and there's quite a few of them. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Absolutely horrible. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, and he's scoring victory points as he destroys. Score, it's hurting my scoring potential, but uh, I'll be okay. Well, you know, I, I was actually just considering their um, making a coalition with the lizards, because uh, I, I think they are in a good position here, but it, it, unfortunately they're no longer uh, have the least uh, with the gear. You should, have, you should have said that before I put the most debating point in the guard. <laughs> yeah, I. I, I, I uh, you kind of caught me off guard there, but I, I, I almost said something. I am quite <laughs> thrilled about this coalition not happening. Uh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna start banking. Better better burrow bank. Yeah, you know maybe that'll get us. Get I us just don't know if it's here. gonna be red again, so I had to go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Okay. Well. How can we rebuild our empire? I think it starts here. That's a rough uh, day for the cats. Yeah, it's not not their best not their not their best time here. Uh, what else can we build? We can go up to this clearing, which is relatively further away from all your nonsense, and get another sawmill going. And if we come up here. So one thing uh, about the cats is a lot of their stuff burns down pretty regularly, but they are able to rebuild. Uh, so, you know, it, one of the things that's pretty cool about Root is there's a lot of big swings. Like the, the play Patrick made in the last turn was like a pretty big, the forest gets reshaped uh, as the fox clearings everywhere rise up and destroy lots of stuff. Uh, but you can, you know, not necessarily recover uh, fully, but you can get yourself kind of back in the mix of things uh, without a ton of, uh, you know, sitting around not being able to do anything for long portions of the game, which is always nice. Uh, I don't think I want that. Okay. 
And again, as we're, we were talking about the kind of like different rates at which different factions score points earlier, you can see now that now it's, we're in the sort of very middle window of the game where things are starting to get really tight. Uh, and every, you know, all four of us have either 10 or 12 points. We won't comment on who only has 10. Uh, but, you know, the majority of players have scored 12 points at this at this stage, uh, which is uh, a pretty good indication that you're, you're accelerating into the, the final stages. Just stay next so the Vagabond will stop fighting and, and make that coalition with us now. You see? That's, uh, I mean, to... if you want to make that coalition, I will definitely be in last at the end of my next turn. So that's the, the otters are going to surge ahead of me. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely considering this coalition, and it's a... You know, I, although I can score possibly a reasonable amount of points by going against the marquee here on my own. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I put it off one more turn, although I could, we could end up in a situation where my only ally here is the marquee who I, I'm beating on here. <laughs> <laughs> Won't that be a rich irony? Oh yeah, I will be <laughs> scoring points on my turn, so yep. But my offer is baloney. Balonium. Uh, today in the studio, we got a copy of the Marquis Blush in the mail. Oh, awesome. Good. Yeah, we've been... Uh, uh, I put it in the case. It's no longer... Oh, my goodness. Oh, let's go a list. There is a turn of events here. Huh. Well, this is going to be a much different next turn. So so talk so talk about what this means. What, is the, what does this coalition mean? So uh, well, that, I'll that, win that... if the river folk win. You win with me. We yep. win together. And yes. that's it. Yeah, there's no uh, there's no more tracking points for the right yep. the Vagabond either. The Vagabond that, is only invested in my success. In the Vagabond has made, staked their claim. You see, they, they get the little river folk icon now inside where their victory points go in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, and they will no longer be scoring victory points for the remainder of the game. And they're just all in on pushing the river folk company over the edge hmm. to victory. Should have waited a turn then. Wow, and now you're coming right after me? Most likely of targets. Ooh. Oh my, Ooh. what a damn It's a trap! Ooh. That happened. Yeah. Well, I might be sitting out for a little bit here next turn. <laughs> yeah, you tangled with the wrong cats. So the way for Ooh, the Vagabond to fix their equipment is they have to, they, they can repair them with hammers. But they can also spend their daylight sitting out in the woods fixing all their stuff. Which just looks like the Vagabond's starting to wind down to that point right now. Oh, that's oh my. I don't know if anybody's been paying attention to my hand, either. Uh, I am. You are? Okay, yeah, so you know what's coming. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's oh, not as spicy as yours, but it's still tasty. I mean, it's still, it's still an Italian meal. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. All right, All right. Vagabond. Let's, Let's do this. As they say. So, so, so now, uh, in, in terms of the, the asymmetry of the game, now it's like we have a, a team going on between Yuri and Marshall have become a de facto team. Uh, whereas Patrick and I are not a team, but we also don't want them to win. Yeah, and right. so it's kind of created this little, you know. So now I'm fighting triangle. this. Now I'm fighting this one little lizard up here just to say hello. Oh, interesting. So yeah, Marshall, I, I did set you up there to score a lot of points uh, against these buildings and tokens with with no uh, defense. What does the arbiter cost to use? Nothing. So why the, get points why for the it. lizard cult instead of yeah. the Marquis here? I have more than one attack. Fair enough. He uh, just wants gonna, everything. He wants I'm just everyone. to push your ally against you into the battle. <laughs> no, we both, I swung my oar, the lizard did its woo, and uh, we missed each other. So That's we just fine. sort of like slapped hands for a moment, which is fine. But yeah, I did that because I have the uh, command warren. Um, yeah, I, I know you want those points, and don't worry, I'll get those points. <laughs> yeah, um, this is fun. But the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a couple of trade posts. The cats 
did I either did or did not realize that they were about to set me up for some pretty big stuff here. Oh no! I have to move quickly before I do this. One moment. I forgot that you don't control the the proper thing. I'll have to even use my own little riverboat to get out of there. Okay, and now we're going to craft a trade post there. We're going to craft a trade post up there. And then we're going to craft a card. Mm. What card do you think we're going to craft? Mm. Boop -a -boop. Favor of Marshall? Favor of the mice. And let's get rid of that recruiter and that cat. <laughs> poor, these poor cats. Some lizards. It's been a rough game for them. Say. You know, cats are getting picked on hard. They they shut up and score really early, and that can sometimes oh sure makes you a target, make you a target. And since uh, these are not removed in battle, they don't become acolytes. They don't make acolytes. That was another reason. To they the just go to the stock. Correct. So so normally yeah. talk talk about how the what happens to lizard folk warriors when they are attacked. Yeah, so if they get attacked and they die in battle, they become acolytes, uh, which I can, which is kind of just a bank of uh, my warriors I can use in later turns to perform. What are they even called? Uh, uh, conspiracies. Conspiracies. That's it. And um, and then I can use. That's how I can move and attack and convert buildings. I haven't gotten any all game though because I've, I haven't had any blue cards and nobody's attacked. Me. And at this point, I still have zero because the favor card is none of He hired the arbiter. I was like, well, they, yeah, fight? I did that to you also. Because <laughs> there's no there's no penalty for using yeah. the arbiter now. Arbiter's it's, free. It's free, yeah. Mm -mm. It's just the arbiter has no sword, so it yeah. doesn't really matter. It's not dicey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so using that favor of the mice card, uh, Marshall got to kill a bunch of Patrick's lizard folk in a way that normally, if they die in battle, it's, it creates a little tension because normally. You, you have to think about if you're going to attack the lizard cults, because if you kill their warriors, they become acolytes. But if you can remove them outside of battle, which is what just happened, uh, you don't get that resource to help you recover. Frankly, they uh, come back much stronger. And to the vagabond chagrin, I am, you know, still just cleaning up those points. You're loving this, aren't you? <laughs> the, the, the vagabond is truly playing all sides here. I love bringing the Arbiter along. It's like, well, I'm with you, but I do have to defend the defenses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, gross. Couple of points there. Yeah, that's uh, that was a nice springboard. I will say, well done. Um, and I think for the last thing, we're just going to draw a card because we need a little bit of some card action. We've oh got my a gosh. starting party and a sword. I'll make hand oh, cards. Two let me take a look at three. that. No, I don't Ordinary want to. Score. I need my boys. That's me. All right, pass your turn then. I think I did. It just seems yeah, like yeah. It takes, it takes a little a, latency. Yeah, it takes a second to cycle to the next player. Yeah. Uh, I am gonna buy that sword actually because it's still red as the suit. So. Uh, are there any swords left in the bank? There are not. He has all three of them. Uh, there's there isn't one ready for crafting. I'll double check. I do not believe that. Uh, there show two in the supply. Yeah. So, it will say, oh, that's it will right. Say you start with the extra one. Yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. say it'll say sold out if it's not. Okay, available. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up that sword then. Uh, do I oh, it'll that? say sold out on the card itself. Yeah, there's like a little sticker that goes over the top. Of the that's card that that's very clever. Very clever. Yeah. Okay, I'm done buying your your blood swords. The things uh, you can do with video games that you can't do with. Oh no! Oh right? no! The outcast shifted to orange. That's funny. So I can't even build it. That's fine. <laughs> I'll still use it. Uh. So choose a ritual. I am going to build um, with what I want to use. This is where I say to the side to the vagabond, we'll win this through commerce and violence. <laughs> like all the empires. Was, like the it real was fun world. to be able to set you up to uh, take out all those enemies, defenseless enemies. I even got the uh, ambush taken away for you. Yeah, yep, that was, uh, it actually informed which thing I crafted when you did that, so that's, yeah. All right, that so I'm just putting... to lend quite as much support this next round, because it's definitely a turn off to heal, I think. I think you're hiding in the forest, indeed. Fair enough. Yeah, I just picked up four points from rituals. 
but I'm out of red cards now, so that's gonna dampen my thrust. Yeah, all of your gardens have four lizards with them too. It makes it very difficult to deal yeah, with. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm I'm good at this game. Uh, not really. Nobody nobody believed what I just said. I'd, I'd love to see a favor of the foxes go off, but. <laughs> <laughs> no that one's gonna be able to that particular back. vagabond is not in the game to pull that card back in. Yeah, indeed. Although if we run through the deck, you can run through the deck. It should happen. All right, I'm gonna keep recruiting. Where are my crew? There is a bunny dominance available now. Which the lizards could okay. mess with a little bit. And I'll just be nice and reveal. I do have the play ambush. So Ooh. Perform a sacrifice with it. I got the cards back. Uh, so I, that blue ambush means Patrick, for those of you who don't know the game, Patrick can ambush in any clearing if someone attacks him of any color, which is a very, very dangerous prospect, especially considering how many lizards he has in most of his clearings. Yep. Discard uh, this orange card and would almost be one of those situations where you need something like a vagabond to go in and soak it up. <laughs> Hypothetically, if, if such things happen, if, if if one were so inclined, per se. Okay, and then I'm done with my turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm on a steady steady trajectory here, but I think the otters with the Hopley Arbiter, pretty good boat. I would almost go so far as to say, as any game where the otters have seven cards purchased in the first three turns, they're going to do well. Yeah, that's definitely part of the reason I felt felt good uh, throwing my... What, what would the saying be? It's, <laughs> it's not throwing in the towel with them, that's for sure. Throw your, throw your lot. Throwing your weight behind that faction, yeah. 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 Throwing like, your you, lot in. Your no, cart I think that's that it. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. lot. I'm, I'm doing with that. Hmm. Well, let's... Uh, and for folks who don't know Root, um, not any character can do that. That's, again, with the asymmetry of the game. Only the Vagabond character can form a coalition with others. So the cats and the otters couldn't team up and have this giant force. It is just the, uh, the sort of lone wanderer Vagabond that can do that. Hmm. All right. We are running low here. Yeah, my goodness, we've almost run the cats off of the board. This yeah. is, uh... Only you might think that we have something against the cats here. It's just the way the game's played out. I mean, it's fitting. Losing losing a keep that early in the game can make it very hard. It, it, definitely, it definitely changes the, the changes the texture of things. Uh, what do you have? I will say that, uh, you know, it wasn't either of us from Leader Games that took that keep out. Uh, we don't have to work next to Matt. Yeah, here. yeah, you know. <laughs> I think uh, we're going we're gonna to have to have a chat with HR about this later. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, are, we are work from home right now, so at least I don't have to see Matt glaring at me. I'll glare at you from Discord. Yeah. I, uh... In the early days of leader games, we bought a. We went to IKEA to get desks, and we bought. I just randomly bought two hand puppets. Uh, one was an like owl. You like, like you do. Like you do at IKEA. Yeah. yeah. One was an owl, and one was a dragon, and so I called them the HRL, the Counting Dragon. And uh, like, like I was gonna pull something from Archer, where when you go visit HR, <laughs> you have to talk to the owl puppet. Yeah. We take HR more seriously than that. We do have HR. Yes. Come on, Arbiter. Come hang out with the Otter. Without your swords. Uh, yeah, we're going to use that. Didn't matter. So happy I have one act like that. I don't think I should have used that Sapphire, so I'm not sure it made a difference. Hmm. Ow! All right. this allied victory junk. May I suggest I building a recruiter? Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I know. No, I couldn't. Is... I, would, I would be in favor of building a recruiter. It seems like it might help if there were more cats. 
Mm. Arbiter, enjoy your vacation, I think is what I'm about to say. Yeah. The game, the game just reminded me, it prompted me, your items are in rough shape. You <laughs> might want to go into a forest. Just a reminder, you probably want to go to the forest. I like. Please, please leave. <laughs> I think that's that's the one we only give to players one time. Just yeah. to be sure if they, they remember that. Oh, uh, I just made a huge error. Oh. Uh, I've revealed to you several times I have the, dominant, the red dominance card. I should have played it when I knew the Arbiter was out of phase. <sighs> That would have been hilarious. I just, I'm so focused on points. I so rarely pull dominance victories. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I should have done it because I have three clearings. You couldn't have taken... The otters could not have broken three clearings. Well, I mean, I still don't know. Oh, well, with two turns. No, the Arbiter's back, so yeah, it'll be yeah. no problem. Yeah, no, 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 indeed. He can bring enough force down. I feel like a fanboy in the stands, just like rooting for the river folk right now. I just can't wait to see how this turn's going to play out. I've got well, quite I, a few funds is, here. This is interesting. I've got a bunch of funds, but I really I don't have a ton to do here. So this will be a very interesting. I think turn. you're going to win this turn. What are you talking about? I think you're right, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a matter of. Oh, you only have trade two trading posts, posts left. Yep, I only have two trading posts. That's ah, uh, yeah, you, you can't win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, there's, well, there's, there's a way. Yeah, yeah. there's three points. Yeah, yeah. The um, bunny clearing the marquee is just uh, waiting see, to be taken. I see seven points at mm -hmm. best. I see them. I'm, I'm on my way. I think we can do it. Yeah, I should have played that. Especially when the bad spot I'm in with, with uh, being behind and uh, an alliance like this. And my hand is stacked full of ambushes. No spoilers. No spoilers. I'm trying to look surprised when I play an ambush on you. I mean, I have used the ambushes in transactions, so you know I am. That's a lot of otters. You this rarely is, see four otters hanging out. This together. isn't. A, this isn't a battle. This is just. This is otter destruction. Oh, <laughs> oh. You have a sound effect. Hold on. I, how, do I, how do I kick Marvel. someone for my game? Uh, <laughs> there's a button that I can... At least make a slide whistle noise or something. So. <laughs> oh, Marshall. I have to yeah. run with him. I have I to commute those, those those are regular. Regular. Those I have are, to commute with him. That was those uh, very regular, indeed. So we're going to go here. I think, as long as things don't go incredibly badly... That we can do this. Yeah, and I should again should have played the dominance card because if I have another turn, this is a yeah. You only get you get one more, probably not. Two yeah, and it won't be enough time to do it. Yeah. So who wants to take a crack at where the last uh, three points are coming from here? All right. I think well, there's he's only got, two more. He's got and there's a building down there. The cats. You need three more, unless you went on twenty nine that I don't know about. Three um, more, indeed. You've built all your trading posts. This is very true. It's a matter of where we get those. Do we move now or do we draw cards to try and find an item to, to build for the last, you know? Let's draw some cards. Oh, sure. Yeah, you got that. Oh, and there's coins. Is that it? I think and that's it. coins is three. Yeah. Nope, it is, but I don't have the... Uh, you don't have the funds? I don't have the... Uh, no, the trading posts, they're, they've been destroyed, I believe. You can use the removed ones... Oh, then I don't have the fund. That's all there is. There's only one. Crafting. Yeah, only one. I'm only seeing one fund left. I only have one fund. Yeah, I'm gonna draw another card, and uh, that's that's gonna be it. All right. Well, uh, set prices to four all around. <laughs> <laughs> the shop is closed. Just buy everything. Mm-hmm. Look at my board for a second. Shop is closed. Oh, there's a scouting party. That seems pretty valuable. Is it worth four? I mean, maybe. What's the outcast suit going to be? How do we know that? Uh, this has been a very unique game of Root, I will say, regardless of the outcome. I uh, haven't seen this landscape. 
This is gonna be red, so I can crap. Two red favors game. played in the game. It's been a bloodbath. It has. We're ending the game with, you know, essentially the cultists and the shopping centers have taken over. I mean, I, I, I think it's interesting, you know, if you think about the ways in which games model real life uh, absolute devastation of a native population, and it's the war profiteers that come out on top. So there's... Uh... I need six <laughs> points. And I can, I, can, uh, I can actually... I can catapult here, but I'm, I'm six points is pretty tall order at this point. I get one... So I get zero from yeah. I just don't have enough scoring opportunity. And without with only one, yeah. If you had a fourteen point turn, I would be unbelievably yeah. surprised. Yeah, I, I mean eight's pretty solid for uh, me, big... but yeah, that's uh, yeah. So I'm not gonna buy. I'll decline. All right, and then uh, choose a conspiracy. I can do an orange. I did not see it was going to turn to orange. I really thought it was going to stay red, so it even harder. This is all uh, just a big moral story to say, careful who you purchase from, you know? That's... Yes. And when you do purchase, purchase during the Steam Digital Tabletop Sale, where Root is available. <laughs> <laughs> the otters are actually giving a discount. Yeah, huh? <laughs> see, how did, see how we did that? That's pretty smooth. Uh, how do I play Dominance? I should be able to uh, just drag you it up. over on the side, yeah, where the crown is, and then you claim the dominance card, I believe, uh -huh. on the top. Right, right, so that that'll get it in hand, and then you, you still have to play. Yeah, it you hand. play it from hand. Oh, that's why it's highlighted. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I'll just, yeah, the, I'll just the, do it. Little, the little crown. I'll just do it. Around. I'll just do it for giggles, even. You want to make sure I get those three points? I understand. It, there's no way I can do. That. Uh, well, really, I think what this means is I'm going to finish in second place as having some points. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, a second place like show after that there, start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's totally acceptable. That second is... place keepless. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Right. Turn, turn one, keep sacrifice. Still second place. I played that a turn ago. Oh, so terrible. All right, I'm gonna do this. And put down another guy with the red ambush. I'll say, had you done it at that time, there is no way to stop that at all. I don't. Yeah. Think yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Because it would have just been you. And you can't get through four or five guys. That's no, just I mean, lucky happen. two lucky rolls would be the only way but out. I also sure. had two ambushes, a red ambush and a blue ambush at that point, so it would have been pretty. But now the Arbiter's coming out fully armed. Yeah, yeah, that was that was my bad. Swinging three swords somehow just around himself. I'm just putting a guy here for giggles. Uh, and then I'll sacrifice twice. Can't sacrifice again for some reason. Interesting. All right, well, let's we'll continue. Oh, I'm out of guys. <laughs> ah, out of warriors. There you go. Yeah, you have a ton on the board, huh? I do. All right, let's gotta discard him. Ready to go. Uh, discard this, and I'll discard this. All right, let's send. And I'm, I'm guessing if you guys are working on future stuff, y'all are also working on another map for this too, right? Is that, I mean, is that part of the set? Listen, I'll leave it to you what you want to speak to here. <laughs> we're, we're always working on new content. Root has been tremendously well received uh, by players and critics alike. So, uh, you know, the, the first thing that we're focused on right now is the Switch release. It's going to be coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, and then who knows from there, there's all kinds of other great Root content. Uh, Excellent, but here. Uh, you, you took your opportunity to plug Underworlds earlier. I noticed that was good. So, oh. uh, all right, no Underworlds cards. Underworlds, wonderful expansion, and it comes with two more maps and our, our physical one. So, yeah. uh... no cards to craft, nothing to build. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is what is called a beaten and broken cat. Yeah, uh, I've got <laughs> I've got one cat. I've got one warrior. And I don't know that if you don't build moves. anything, if you don't build anything, I have a shot at him not scoring three points. That's the only shot I have in him not scoring three points. Just well, so. I, can't, I can't build anything. Well, then, I'm, I, but I could attack him. Go, go. Well, then do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. Gonna attack him. There we go. We'll do a little metagame here. There <laughs> yeah. we go. I mean, you, you should look at my hand. 
<laughs> Should have bought all your ambushes. Uh -oh. Here we go. Oh, As we said before we started that um, the only faction he could play was the Woodland Alliance. Now I feel you like know? he's just trying to prove how bad he is at the other faction. Oh, sure. You know, I, 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 like to, I like to demonstrate. I don't lie about these things. I'm decent with the Woodland Alliance. This Woodland been, Alliance is a great faction. This has been a debacle. <laughs> so you just you just killed your own cats off the board. I love yes. that. Idea. Yes, <laughs> and now and now we are at peace. That is how we. This is how civilizations collapse. We it says Marquise is pondering their next action at the top. Is that just where the game stops? Because there's no cats. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 transcendence. We all just ponder what we've witnessed uh, for a long time, and uh, you know that that gets us to where we need to go. All right. Well, that will end. The Marquis, the cats, the Marquis de Cats journeys into the woodland have come to a uh, somewhat anemic end. You can, there. you can go for me, but if you want to wrap up the game, the the otters have a lock on it. It's yeah, fun. yeah. Oh no, we can, we, we can at least get to the victory screen. Yeah, it's got a fun little. You know, we can see who's on the stump. So, no, uh, I'm just saying the arbiters don't need to do anything on their turn. If they don't want right. to. Yeah, right. Uh, it's just flexing at this just point. Flexing it's just, at this just, point. Yeah. Just, da just dancing around, making chittering otter noises. So, uh, I think, I think one win of the, with dominance. I think one of the things <laughs> that uh, that that Root makes really clear, and that this game, such as it was, really demonstrates, is that it's the kind of game where uh, choices, your choices, really do matter, right? And the way the strategy plays out over the course of the game, it's not the kind of thing where like. Oh, I rolled doubles. Now I have a huge advantage, right? It's not that kind of swinginess. Uh, and there's a lot of strategic impact kind of baked into every turn, whether it's the turn where I neglected to defend my keep, the turn that Patrick declined to take, uh, or the different, uh, you know, or the order in which cards were played and purchased. So you, you can really see that kind of play out over the course of the game. The amazing marketing of the River Folk Company. Mm. Oh no! Mm, soaking up ambushes. I mean, you don't want to end the game with them in hand. <laughs> From my perspective, I just see this very long battle going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that's fun. The fog of war. There's so much attrition. Wow, you can you waxed me. Man, his picture does have him holding a sword. It's uh. The Arbiter's a fighty boy. <laughs> think if I can take out one of the one of the holes on the fox clearings here. I like the red. Oh, there's another ambush. I told you I had two. I've known that one was there the whole yeah. game. I was waiting for it. Yeah. That's great. See the Daryl. That's right. That was the one that got revealed much earlier. Yeah. Uh, that's still pretty good. We knock everything down. Ooh. And took the building. Yeah. Man. Oh, it's terrible. Can't look anymore. <laughs> it is what it is what it is. We all pay the price for our attempt to con conquer the woodland. Speaking of paying prices. Yeah. Right Let's now, this game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marshall knows. Time to bring us home. Let's do it. Uh, I'm not going to use my crafted cards. I'll just go ahead and I'll make this uh, band aid merciless and sweet. This is the still had all these moment of. Indeed. <laughs> Uh, we're going to commit three funds. Oh, we only need two in this case. There we go. Make some coins and call it a 30. Very good I mean, game. Anytime you, you know. can, anytime you can end a war with a bake sale, I feel like we've all <laughs> learned something about ourselves. So. Yeah. Also, I just got an achievement for Coalition Victory. That is my first ever in uh, the... I, I think in Root, to be honest, I don't think I've ever had a Coalition Victory uh, that I can remember. Oh, Look at that. We're, we're make that happen. Breaking new ground. Indeed. Uh, uh. So, uh, 
So what happens now is Patrick has to go work for Direwolf. Um, wow. And uh, Matt comes to work for us. This Stakes are high. Game. It's like a prisoner exchange. Mm. Uh, I, I do enjoy seeing the marquee just lying on the ground here. <laughs> yeah. Just for, forget about that part. Don't worry. Focus. It's holding its head still. It's not yeah. knocked out. It just, it just can't grasp. It's, wo it. it's wounded. It's, it's, it's dizzied by what it just experienced. Yes, but still, still in the fight. I, uh, um, I'm willing to announce my retirement at this point, both from Root <laughs> and from working here if I have to trade places. <laughs> wow. There you go. There, big, there's big news all around. Uh, well, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, I think we need to we need to wrap up so folks can get off to whatever their next stream is here. Uh, Root right now is on sale during the Steam Digital Tabletop uh, Games Festival on Steam, uh, also on uh, iOS and Android mobile devices, wherever you want to play it. Uh, get into the battle. It's lots of fun, and I hope you fare better than the cats who will rise again and uh, <laughs> seek, uh, seek new dominance across the forest. Uh, so again, thanks everyone for joining us and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you very much. Are the expansions on sale also? They sure are. Yep. Excellent. Very and cool. And could you pick up the physical game anywhere? Uh, I'm sure you can. Is there in fact a, uh, a, a, a website where you would do such a thing if it's from your friendly local game store or? Yeah. From... Yeah. Yeah. I highly recommend your friendly local game store, but you can also pick it up on our website, uh, Leader Games, L-E-D-E-R games.com and uh i think everything's fully in stock right now if marshall's doing his job right so that'll be the real test yeah all right thanks awesome thanks so much guys take care everybody thanks y'all really memorable game see everybody <laughs>